am really curious if Fiona is going to buy out that lady at the laundrette and then we're going to start seeing multiple businesses from her. I wonder if they'll make it more reality based or set it up in maybe a quicker time frame. We know she's we know she does well when she's in work, that she's good at what she does. We've seen it multiple times throughout the show. So I'm curious. Because she's done so well with the diner, the cafe, how she will be now with a laundrette. And I wonder if she'll start taking over multiple businesses, maybe around that area and hiring people. Because she clearly wants to emulate that woman. And she's trying to push it forward and kind of distance herself from always being at the center for everyone. She's definitely the one that intrigues me the most. Okay, we're getting some weird slow motion movie set moment for Fiona. Is it really hard? Hey, Debbie's not in the room. She's sleeping meals last night? Yep. That's a real thing now? Apparently so. He's a nice guy and all, but... He's a paraplegic with no impulse control. Sierra say anything about it? What? Uh, maybe I'll get myself one of those. Coming in with some money. No kidding. Internship. They paying you now? Yep. N no. <laughs> this is a real business for Frank. Did he just shove food in his mouth? Wow, they fall in line with Frank. How does he do this? Oh my god, Florence. You take my breath away. Look she did a good job to get the money. Morning, Chief. Hey. Would my Apache brother like toast, or do you only eat maize? Laugh all you want, but it got me a scholarship in the military. School. So are, all of the, are they also half a percentage-wise of Native American in them? When do you go? A couple of days. Mm, I'm losing my best dishwasher. Uh, back and back. Not even close. See, everyone seems to be getting on actually quite nicely. Uh-oh, that's not his. Well, I can't remember ever seeing you eat fruit. <laughs> hey, can you go by the store? Get a cake and a banner? Make it nice for Carl's send-off party? Yes! Thank you. He's well, no faced that poor boy! Home, an hour, feeling proud. We're in a war. A war with the privileged. Those aren't streets you're sitting on. They're battles. The way he gets every- he just gets everyone together. So go forth, you sons of bitches. How are you all just smiling away when Take Frank is not doing anything? You're all earning the money. You forgot your sippy cups, bad daddy. Bad daddy. Oh no, what's in those? <laughs> Who is he having sex with? Dumb bitch. Are you lactating? Neil, one, two. Eyes on you. He can't help it. He has brain damage. Cute baby. No, it's not. Ah! Uh, yeah. Ouch. But then, yeah. But, but, yeah. Svetlana and her dad. What about him? Having sex? You know. Mm hmm. No. Yeah. Hey. Hey. It was just, oh, it is him. <laughs> like, hello. You want to tell yourself you don't want me? That's fine. I'll play along. But I have plenty of friends, so if you're going to make things weird, I'm out. All I said is I'll see. Trevor gets very defensive. Really defensive. A lot. Their relationship's going to be very up and down in terms of how they interact with one another. I got to admit, when you're living on the street, and cold and hungry, you start to question if there really is a god. I believe in him now. Wait, Sorry. I want to see the tears. You gave us a sofa, but your greatest gift? You gave us our faith back. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how Frank does this. It is magnificent to watch. Oh, look here. Yo, everything all set? Uh, almost. Are you sure about this? Me no. Friday's a little out of my comfort zone. 
Don't get greedy. Someone will get greedy. Just need to hit return. Great, do it. Are you gonna do it or not? I was gonna say, Lip, you pressed it. Looks like she doesn't really need to be there anymore. She's turning into a full-on boss Daddy? when they barely turn up. Everyone yeah. else does the job. Hi. Debbie's pissed at you. Not that you yep. care, but for any pastor DCFS doctor exam. That's right, little bitch. Because I want you to contribute your fair share. And staring at the breast. Give a shit. You could have fooled me. We're having a goodbye party for Carl tomorrow. Can you come? For Carl? Sure. <laughs> oh, look at him. Caramelized onions, brioche bun, aioli. Neil, one. Two. I was gonna say something nice. You have a good ass. It makes up for your small tits. <gasps> Alright, I'm not running away from this. It's time to man up. I feel like Svetlana's gonna kick your walls. Your dad pimped you out. Did you ever sample the goods? She knows what you're saying. Oh, uh, this... Kev, I would run. I got nothing. Don't be mad. Tell me today, Joaquin. Why? Because they've been screwed over by a system that rewards criminals with white collars and shit values. Okay, Frank. He's very much like his father right now. Be a term sheet. Um, you should yeah, read that over. Hundred thousand. Yeah. Is that for the building? No. Yeah, it wouldn't be for the building. I've got eight years left on it. Haven't you lived up there like a hundred years? Yeah. I'm not that old. Dry ate my quarters. I put two bucks in, thing won't start. Prove it. Prove it? Machine doesn't give you a damn receipt. <laughs> what are you, holding out on me? Frank, then you do it. Get out there and beg. You're better than this. Where does the money go? What did you say? All the money you take, where does it go? He's gonna kick. Uh, for sure. To you, Frank? <laughs> you think you get a free ride here? Huh? You do that, you get to keep your corner. Don't, you get to clean toilets. You piss me off. And you win a cardboard box under the overpass. Yeah, see the threats now that are coming from Frank? I thought something was. Whoa! You're a sneaky bitch! <laughs> See, what did I say? I knew it. I knew... Hey, uh, Liam's in bed. Yeah, Liam's in bed. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. Right. Pop quiz. <laughs> They're like little kids. What's the most Debbie thing Debbie could possibly do? Uh, join the army using Lip's name. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> oh. Uh, engaged? Ding, 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 ding. Well, I may have been stupid, but at least I was in love. There, I do feel bad for moments where she's missing stuff like this, but I guess she'd be happy about it. So, a chick is blowing her load on you like she's a dude. Meanwhile, I'm making out with a guy with a vagina. Oh yeah, she's missed a lot, hasn't she? No laundromat across the street from Patsy's. It's getting sold. The one with the cats? Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm just waiting for the bank to approve the loan. Like, fuck wants to hang out at a laundromat. Yeah, everyone's washing their underwear. What could be sexier than that? Okay, sure. Damn. Debbie. Frank. Is there anyone else around? Nope. See everything lying around, but okay. It's a lot of money. Consolidating my wealth. Gonna put it the fact that he's safe. been able to make Bank? that much no. so quickly is impressive. Banks, to whom are you getting married? Every one of these kids does something that Frank does. They've got a trait of his. He's paralyzed. On painkillers? How old? He's 23. No. Oh, he's young. No, what? No, you don't have my blessing. I'm sorry. I can't support this union. Says the guy stealing and taking stuff. They just don't know that you're ripping them off. Different family, same fucking Frank. 300. Save your money, Freckles. Maybe. It is true, though. It... Oh, I knew someone had to be listening. And the one that doesn't like him. But yeah, it is the same Frank, just different family. Yeah, some dude from the bank. Oh, is it gonna be no? Hi. But yeah, good. Did she get it? No? Well, I, I appreciate that, but 80,000 isn't enough. I need the 100. Well, is there anything that I can do? I promise that I. Oh, what? Put. 
Okay. Put the house. Thanks. On sale. Oh, here we go. What's gonna happen? Yeah, are you okay? And you said that you'd sell it to me. I know what I said. And I'm gonna let you live upstairs. Remember? I think it's for the best because she just doesn't remember stuff, and I think I do think Fiona could do a really good job here. Give it here. And because Fiona's from this area, the, the lady likes her. You're not circumcised? Hell no. I don't mind it anymore. No, she just didn't like Cole. You know she's got gonorrhea, right? <gasps> what do you want? I'm sorry, shovel. now you're telling him he's got it? it? To me. I hate that he just thinks he can just walk in do. here. Then you can join the army, travel halfway around the world and build roads and hospitals for people who want us dead. Okay. I don't know if I should go though. Want to grow up to be a man? Definitely can't learn that from you. Yep, that's true. Is there somebody in my room? Yeah, there you go. Found out everything you're doing. It's great, isn't it? So we're covered. If they ever come and try to take the house away again. Right, you do. Or there's so many of them. Uh, look, they're gets into college. You're surrounded. Right, son? We're family. Will you tell them, New Monica? My name's Dolores. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, no. Ah! Ooh, through the window. Where is everything? Don't look at me. I asked Debs to take care of it. I need help getting Neil inside. Where the hell's the banner, the, the cake? Bad news. We don't have a party for you. I'm sorry. It's okay. He's not I'm good. not sure if I'm gonna go. See? It's, it's wild, this episode. Yeah. Seems hard. All of it. To be honest, I would, I'd want to go to get away from the family. Gallagher's are a lot of things, but no one says we back down from a challenge. No, they don't. Oh, the back of his leg. Yeah, Frank's back. Oh, 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 Frank, your face, everything. Oh, he was waiting for him. Sergeant Winslow. Want to make sure you got on that bus, even if I had to handcuff you to it. Are you ready? He actually likes Carl. Call? Email? Don't make me come down there and embarrass the hell out of you. <laughs> yeah, because it's another one. Yeah, it's another one leaving. As much as she wants her own space, it's still family. I'm pretty certain he's still in the show for the rest of it, so he must come back at one point. I don't know how long he's going to be gone for. Are you two going to have a talk? You're still back out of that loan. She won't. Maybe, maybe it's time for everyone to start looking at somewhere else to go. Is he gonna punch one of them? Cause he says he can take a punch pretty well. He did say he could punch hard. Anyone else wanna hate me? Huh? I felt like that was a weird ADR. Cause someone said I'm gonna F you up, but it looked like someone in the back saying it. They always do that for TV shows. Um, so much information. Uh, so much information to process with this. So Svetlana is actually already married. Um, that shouldn't be a shock with this show. But you, I just don't know anymore. <laughs> so there's her husband. So was she waiting to be comfortable to bring him over? Or he decided to come over? There's so many questions about that in my head. And what it means now for the thruple. Maybe it's the end of the thruple. Because Kev will not want another man involved. But then Svetlana's keeping the business afloat. Do they now just become business partners? Fiona getting a laundry, I spoke about that before. I do think she could turn it around. Put in the house as collateral when technically, is, even though it's in her name, she didn't buy it. Could come back to bite her. But I didn't know with this show because I do feel like a lot of people don't believe in Fiona. When she actually can achieve a lot and has... This season actually has achieved quite a bit, if you think about it. We'll see how it goes, obviously. I don't know how her and Lip will really repair their relationship in this moment. Maybe it will take a few episodes. 
it got very t intense and Fiona saw the end, they all do it, they throw things back in each other's faces and I think that's a human, just a human thing for a lot of people. It was just interesting watching Lip not respond back. Usually we don't see that from him, usually he would respond. I, I have said this before, I do think Lip is growing up to, like obviously they all do things but yeah and then him with all the money and that. We also we don't even know if, I think it's Joaquin. I don't know if he actually took more money, just didn't tell him. Unless he goes secretly, oh by the way, I took money. He might be in a new relationship. Debs is engaged. Carl has gone to the army. De definitely things have really changed for everyone. Debs doesn't have to be at the home anymore. Um Carl's not there anymore. Ian's probably gonna spend more time with Trevor. And then I don't know about Lip because he doesn't want to get too involved. In a relationship, but then it doesn't look like she wants to get it with him. But so much went on. I think it was a really good episode because this felt like, like such a roller coaster ride, but also a mid season. Things have changed. Like every every moment of this episode felt like they've changed. So there's going to be something new happening in the second half of this season. So that's going to be really fun. I have no idea if Carl's going to disappear for a while, and then they're going to show him like leading everyone. Because that ending was like, okay, I mean, sure. Frank being Frank, and the way he gets... I, I know he didn't get away with it in the end, but he gets away with it for so long, and the amount of money he took, and then he's now down on his luck. But, yeah, the way Frank does stuff, I wonder if they will all flounder without him, and then they'll want him back. I don't know. That, that might be the end of them for a while. But a really good episode. So much to happen. So intense. Bubbling under the surface with everyone. It just craziness with going on and you know what that's what i really enjoy about shameless is that there is so much that they can do with the show i felt like they've really picked back up on the shock value which you wouldn't think in season seven but there are sometimes i just like oh of course but i do think people are being incorporated better i think v and kev and svetlana have a better story on this season i think the whole family has a better story i feel like people are getting better screen time and it's it's nice because I feel like though Fiona's still a focal point, they are giving you enough of everyone else that you don't feel like you're missing out. And I appreciate that. This has become one of my favourite seasons.